let's talk about the stock market for this week let's go over the technical analysis and the news to expect this week with fed chair powell speaking this thursday in this video i just want to do a uh, quick update on the market and go over the psychological analysis which is leaning very very bearish right now we have a massive head and shoulder and a descending triangle and multiple levels of support to the downside we also have a lot of fear um, in the market credit card losses are rising at the fastest pace since the great financial crisis and on top of that i saw this chart um by this twitter account on how the spy chart looks like the 1987 chart so i quickly want to go over the technical analysis and the news that we have this week and then go over some stock setups so i'm taking a look at apple and roblox for long calls and long shares so subscribe with notifications on and let's get started so the first thing we have is this week we do have fed chair powell speaking so this is very very important okay so this week we have um on thursday we have fed chair powell speaking on the 28th you know just like last week the whole reason we dropped for the spy the whole reason we dropped a massive you know two point eight percent last week was because of the news we had massive news um happening that day we gapped down and take a look at these massive massive candles so news is something that we have to watch now this thursday we have fed chair powell speaking jerome powell which is the head of the federal reserve so he you know whatever he says is going to be very very important on thursday other than that nothing else um really going on uh this week next week we do have the unemployment rate which is going to be interesting so let's talk about the spy for a second okay spy you know we looked very very bullish but now we are looking very, very bearish. So taking a look at SPY year to date, we're doing pretty good. Six month, we're doing pretty good. Um, but it gets ugly on the monthly and the daily time frame, especially since we're taking a look at the six month time frame. We do have a head and shoulder, which is leaning bearish. Now let's take a look at the overall analysis you know we were expecting all-time highs and the question still remains are we going to reach all-time highs before 2024 now taking a look at the setup um it really looks like unlikely with this head and shoulder so psychologically we have we are looking very bearish we have this descending triangle where we have bounced a couple of times but we are breaking this level of support now we have two levels of support that i'm watching which is our previous consolidation phase around june uh, 2023 of this year so 428 and 426 are going to be our area for the level of support now one bullish scenario we have is the gap we do have a nice gap to the upside and it's still not too late for it to turn and to reverse because even though spy is looking bearish right now we can come back up to bounce off of this level of support to have a descending uh triangle breakout to the upside so that is still possible for the spy but other than that we are leaning bearish for this week we have a head and shoulder and we have a descending triangle and we are at a critical level of support that we are breaking to the downside we need to hold this level of support or else it is not going to look good but unfortunately we already broke below the level of support for the spy qqq um the same thing now qqq is still at this level of support so it, it still has a chance to to have a bounce back um to the upside but we just need to hold this level of support because or else we have more room to the downside which is 346 for qqq now the reason that i'm really really watching qqq right now is because of apple and i'm actually liking apple and apple does look 
bullish if we bounce off of this level of support. I've talked about Apple in my previous videos, but I just really like this setup on Apple. Taking a look at the daily time frame, we had this critical level of resistance previously. We had this critical level of resistance, but we broke that this year, and now we have came back down to test this level of support. So I want to buy in one month call options, my stop loss being the close below this level of support for Apple. So I really like the setup for Apple, but SPY and QQQ need to put in that effort of bouncing back because Apple does look good as well as my other stock, which is Roblox. But the main idea is that the whole market needs to be bullish because if the overall market is turning to the downside, then it's gonna take Apple and Roblox to the downside also. So taking a look at Apple, looks like SPY, looks like QQQ, it really doesn't have that head and shoulder setup. It has a descending triangle setup like Disney, and we could see that we have this critical level of support that we are respecting. If it closes below 173, if it closes below this area, the play is done, okay? It is, it is going to be bearish. Now, you could also short this play. Play puts to the downside, so play puts, if we start breaking this to, to the downside, that is also a great idea for apple so there's going to be interesting on what happens we need to hold this level of support for it to be bullish but if it breaks that level and then we have room to the downside and then you know that is where it gets ugly and then you can also short it if you want but again let's see what happens i'm just watching for a bounce for apple next we have roblox so roblox I'm in shares, uh, 25 shares, which I bought around at $27. But I want to average down on Roblox. So the game plan is simple. We are consolidating. We are in the accumulation phase for Roblox. But my stop loss is going to be below $23, uh, below $22 on the weekly time frame. So that is the game plan for Roblox. It's simple. If we close below the level of support, then I'm out and I'm selling it for a loss. And just like that, I could, again, just compare it to, uh, to Coin. So Coin is a previous example of a play like this. Rivian is also a uh, previous example of this pattern, of this consolidation pattern. And that is why I'm really loving Roblox right here. Right here. And I love the risk to reward, you know, potentially a 90% if I buy in shares now. So I only got 25 shares right now, but I'm looking to average down tomorrow right at market open with 25 more shares. So around 50 shares for Roblox. So I'm going to be buying in shares 25 right at market open tomorrow with again a tight stop loss i really like this setup and i think this is going to be a great play but really really need spy and qqq to help us out and bounce for the market because if the overall market is going to push to the downside then it might take roblox with it this could also be a short play just like apple if it breaks the level of support you can short it but i'm watching it for calls so overall hope you guys enjoyed this video let me know in the comments what you guys think and see you guys later. Take care.